This is Jonas's inaugural visit to Youth Center. Yeah. Wow. And uh, Rick will act as your tour guide. I will act as your oh, camera person. Wonky. Really the they are, a, I think, from a vintage collector standpoint, they're a perfect fit. Yeah, that's really, really nice. I'm, this one's my favorite. This is cool. I love the hell out of this one. Oh, yes. This is cool. The arched doorways. Oh, yeah. So... I, I'm very tickled, Rick, that they let, that they put the grate in around your they Rick, did, Rick right? conditioner. They clearly like that. <laughs> now he, just the wall. he go. He finds the tin ceiling immediately. Oh yes, the, the, the tin the tin ceiling, right here. Uh, yeah. The only part of the building that still has it. Yeah, I was telling you. Still hey, Rick. Yes. I was wondering if you think we have enough people to move these fridges. <laughs> still the oil of the fridge. Really I don't know. Okay, yeah. So Perfect. this. This part um, of way up there is the only part we can see tin ceiling. No, oh, oh yeah, it's actually more up there. And there's a good part of it um, on the stairs going down. Yeah. Wonder how old that red pot is. <laughs> oh yeah. No, the kitchen we usually leave off camera just because. It's Are these here usable? Kind of. They're well, we'll explain that off camera. No, they're not like you open the door and it oh, no. stinks. No, they they work. David. Socket fan in there. Yeah. What did David do in there? Uh, be David. I don't know. We've How been so? Call, we've been calling it the David office, but yet it's really, it's not the David little office. Business. I was told it was David's office. That, but this tells me that indeed that used to be a separate building. I think all three of them were. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And Lost a ceiling tile in here. See, we got the arch here. Yes. Yeah. And the great little decorated window with pressed glass or plastic. That's plastic. <laughs> That's an actual outdoor. Oh, these look great. They do, right? Great. We've right. been we've been calling we've out. been calling it the Rick Room just because it's uh, wood paneled and. Uh, Please tell me this has a light behind it. It should. What that's... you need is one of those little picture brass picture lights to go above. Yeah, it. yeah that's a good idea. This room. Um, Showing it. Yeah, well, fan fan. Day. It does. That goes out to the alley. Yep. Um, these, uh, yeah, that was, I just did that this last week. The plastic there? No, the drum light. Oh, the drum light, the cake. Yeah. The oh, the cake light. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. I love these. These look really They do, really don't they? Perfect. Yeah. I, don't, I haven't talked to anybody that did not like those. Yeah. The only other fan I can see looking this good in here to me are like those white banana fans like from the uh, bakery in Seattle, but I think these look better. White banana fans is actually a good idea. That's not a, yeah. With those shades, with those lights, looks really, yeah, and the cane like, blades looks really sassy. Yeah. yeah. Well, with the, with the theme we've got going in the rest of the building being a lot of SMCs, these were pretty... Solid choice, I thought. Yep. Or it was Dan's idea, actually. I should give him. Love the wall sconces. I love these little lights. Those little lights are original to the Which racks. 1940. Been, they yeah, were they were chrome originally, I think. Yeah. And they got 30 coats of paint on them. It's in here. That is the latest one. Something. It must have kicked down because one sounded a little stalled. Oh, I love that you got the the SMC hugger. ceiling light in there. Oh yeah. Oh, check the. Underneath that. Underneath, we got the honeycomb oh, tile, wow. and this was Rex era as well. That those like push plates. That's really cool. The door, the door handles are Menards ones that we're trying to find something sort of similar to the originals. Yeah. There's that weird. That was yep. Fixture. That was that one exposed thing we found. There's light in here. I like that you got the brass one in here and the white one. In I here. was kind of thinking like his and hers sort of like you know one's white with. Tile there. Mm-hmm. This room's held on pretty good, and of course they paint over the, you know. Yeah, I don't know what's going on with those, but. So something happened, because it sounds like they're running. The one was not working before. Yeah. To me, this just in the room is strange. It is. But, wow. And these, <laughs> the Rick surprise, those are fantastic. That was done out of like pure delirium at like four in the morning, I think. What used to be in the centers of these speakers? They had some like kludgy kind of intercom speakers like right in the center on them. We still have and them. we have them, they're downstairs. Um, Did you hang a chandelier or a lamp from the center of that? In theory, yeah. Can I get in the attic while I'm here? Yeah, yeah. Cool. If you're, if you're, if you're, uh, 
what's the right word? If, you, if you're kind of crafty with your movements, you should be able to. Okay. It's a little tricky, but Dan was not able to just because of like width issue, I think, but it, yeah. it, it's not very large friendly, I guess. Church sconces are wonderful. Oh yeah, let me, let me, turn, the, let me turn those on real quick. You said Dan was not able to what now? Get in the attic. Oh no, that's there we go. Yeah, we need to get Jonas in the attic. That's he he's got he already asked about it. Uh, where's the laptop bag? Rick, what you do with the laptop bag? I didn't touch the laptop bag. Who brought it in? I had not me. Hey Stuart, where'd you put my laptop bag? I bring it. Oh. So Stewart's got a pretty good running theory about where the stage originally was because we've we've had a lot of different ideas as to what parts of it. This was the stage. Like this is definitely part of it. Some part. Yeah. So they they obviously they must have remodeled this at some point to make it into a baptismal pool. Yeah. Um, and you can see our uh, Dayton Lasco. Uh, no. This this water heater is just for this. When yeah. you fill this, this is concrete, so this holds water just fine. Sure does. Yep. Does it drain just fine without dumping that's, all over the that's place? That's what that is. There's oh, a drain okay. right there. Yep. No, we we've actually we have put water in it before, and it does pretty well, all things considered. Cool. Well, this is a really cool space. It's definitely showing its age. Yeah. Ways, but it's yeah. you you've really done a lot with it. I love the lights on the fans. I love how. I love how the light fixtures aren't all identical. These two match. This one is unique. These two match, and those back there match. I like that. I kind of because I know you you're one that liked the slightly different shades. Because if you notice, we got different ones there than there, slightly, oh, yeah. very slightly, but they're you know. Are these the are these the standard Centennial crystal? Oh no, they're not. Okay, because if you had one set of the Casablanca Centennial, which is the one that looks like that, that has the flowers between. I've got another set. Oh, okay, yeah, those are, I think that's whatever Dan was able to yeah, give up. <laughs> lights. Yes. And then this is, these have Casablanca crystal centers, which are the Centennial. No, oh. these are the, uh, what are they? Uh, I can't remember, but the closed center shades. Those, yeah, those, those round ones. Crystal. Where else do I need to go? Where else does the Jonas tour need to go? Oh, well, there's, um, Everywhere. I mean, there's still we still got backstage, both basements, um, the attic. If you want, this room um, is the less cool side of the backstage. The other side is cooler. I think um, there's not much to note. They clearly kind of repainted this at one point. Mm -hmm. One of the remnant of one of the stage lights is right on the wall there. Yep. The other one is intact on the other side. I wonder what was in that little spot. That I don't know. They probably yeah, it had to have been something wiring yeah. related. Oh yeah, they had to patch a hole. Patch something. Hole yeah. The and then this isn't our favorite thing, but we'll probably yeah. change that. I, I fixed that as a replacement exit sign, but at least so I got it. You got onto the original stage. This is this is original stage right here. Yeah. These steps yeah. going up. Because this could have been a, a dressing room or side room for. Because if this is nice before, before it was the vaudeville was the thing. So Hold on. stage performers. Oh, 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 these are <laughs> wonderful. Did you see what we did here with all tiny fans? Yeah. These two are the same, right? They sure are. What are these? Uh, pa what, Panama Fanco, I think? These are six. Oh, eight, Pasadena, right? Pasadena, yes, they are. Yep. And then the little homestead here, which uh, I have the same fan on I, my bed. I've got, I've got one in my apartment, too. Those things are, yeah, those are awesome. Lovely. And, of course, the build, sleep under. Builder Square special right here. And the chandelier there. Oh, yes. What's the story with the chandelier up there? Those have been here since we started working on it. And oh, they're standing lamps. I see. They're yeah, the, yeah. Those are just um, and I they were left over from something. I have no clue. We gotta bring them out and put them somewhere. They are pretty, yeah. And then the little hugger that used to be out here is now back here. Now what is this way? So that there's not that's a dead end. It's um that's basically just storage back there. But you did put a fan there. Of course. Yeah. <laughs> now you know what's clever. This is actually ductwork. You could see it right there. Oh yeah. So that yeah. they made this a wall. At so one this point. goes around the corner at the end over to there, but that's just storage space. There's no like, a way to the basement or anything. Oh no, there is. We'll get it. We'll get to that. That's on the other but side. Not from there. No. Well, and that was an attempt, and it clearly didn't work. So that, <laughs> to get through there. That was yeah. Dan was thinking we had a different way of getting up there, but here's the really old switch too. I think this is probably 40s. Yeah, switch plate is certainly 40s. It's got a very, light would have been very nice brown. Very nice. Yeah, I think it was. I think it was brown originally, and then 
The weird thing is that the way they controlled these, um, Stuart, hit the switch so we can see. It only controls that one and the one on the stage. For some reason, that one over there, they wired it separate, so it's just on with the rest of them. That is very I, well, and it wasn't, it didn't work at all when we first came here and then I went up there and found it was unhooked. Why have the louvers been taken off them? We, so we're missing one set and Dan also wanted to have the spotlights a little more like visible. I have the louvers. In fact, I love the, I love the Lasco in here. I love oh, those. Yeah. I don't know if you heard, but last night Stuart and I decided to poke around. Yeah, the, hotel, the day you and saw. We found two Lascos yeah. in the kitchen. That's so cool. Because normally I don't do Urbex where I poke around used buildings, worked in oh, yeah. open buildings, I don't get but with him, no, I was oh like, Stuart, yeah, I'm, I'm comfortable. Stuart, Stuart's got a way of, of making it okay. Yeah. Here's our, uh, a bunch of our replacement tiles. For, oh, yes, yeah, so, so we got more of those That's if you ever want. Um, I'd be tempted to ask Dan if oh, I could Oh, we got to show them, we, I got to show them the box of cool stuff we found. So these were those porch lights they used yep. to have up. Look at this. These were from when it was McGee Sr. running the place. So these have got to be 90s or older. Yep. And then here's some of those light bulbs we found. These were in the attic. They're burned out, unfortunately, but they are cool. Do you have enough of these that I could take one of them? Abs you could have one. Abs there's two. And then this one, um, this one was up there, too. I love that it's, we found the little thing for it, too. Mm, little tag. Little, yeah. Effective color beam. Yep. Oh, yeah. So that's probably 60s, 50s or 60s, yeah. Yeah, and then I think, it, yeah, so I've got it. Yeah, you can pull that out. There's another, um, that was the other. Mm -hmm. yep. Yeah, if you want one of those blue ones, help yourself. Um, we also have, um, yeah, those are the canopies for those. Um, do you remember we found those pendant lights? Yeah. That was those. I found a minty piece of cloth wire. I was just sitting oh. up there. Look at that. It's, I, that's I like, pretty cool. Per, a piece of a roundel that's kind of starting to crack, but we did find it up there. That's cool. This we found buried downstairs. It's kind of neat. Mm-hmm. Some sockets and stuff, this but yeah. This is stamped. Can't sure it's electric, I think. 25 watts. Yep. 25 watts. Do I have... Oh, where were those? I found a piece of a... Um, uh, if I find them later, I found remnants of the box to a Mazda bulb. It was Ooh. just... It, I mean, it just oh, really I rotted remember. out cardboard, yeah, but I did find it. These are um, these are courtesy of Gary. We could put these up somewhere as well. They're both vintage ones. I have the same exact fixture with a different shade on. Oh, it. do you? That's like the '80s, like standard kind of issue lamp. Yeah, I love mine it. has three arms and a ring, and I have like a little student lamp shade on it. We wanted to maybe put a sconce here on that that bit right there. Yeah. Because because I mean that's just silly to have an empty box there. Yeah, it is. Good Personally, mind. I would put a sconce like. Oh well, here and here and run a wire mold. It's fun. It's funny you say that because look what's here. Oh, there's a box. There, there. is, yeah. A long painted over a million wow. times, but this uh, I thought that looked kind of vintage. It's not, yeah. but it looks. Yeah. It looks it's, it's glass and metal. What? Whatever you say, he disagrees. Oh well, that's so you don't want to put up a cool sconce backstage. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Speaking of lighting. Whatever ended up, <coughs> I, bought some, I bought some super bright <coughs> color change LEDs to go behind the loopers. I think those are backstage in our pile. Yeah, they're in boxes. Have you, have you seen backstage since we... I have not. Okay, so once you go back there, I think a lot of your questions will be answered because okay. Stuart and I made that our storage room now. Yeah. Oh, yes. Pastor Jonas here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay, now, oh, oh we, need, we might need a shot of that. Oh yes, <laughs> perfect, awesome. Okay, now let's let's show them the other side. This side's a little more rough and this side's a little more rough and rowdy. Have you been downstairs yet over there? Nope. Not yet. I might I, I might hold the camera a before we do that. Here. Yes. Made out of tape. Well, so what? No, it was sort of intact. What happened was I washed it, and of course the paint started coming off, so I did that with tape. Okay. I have the original exit sign that's supposed to go there. Okay. I, we, I do need to get that back up. Stuart, do you want to hold this for a second? I'm yeah. going to make sure it's not terrible. Yeah. It doesn't look too bad. It's not great, but it's not. I'm going to leave my hat up here. Got some more. It's not as bad as yeah. Got some more water? Yeah, this is an ongoing issue because they can't get something figured out. 
So normally this isn't like that, and we can yeah. step on those pallets. There's all the old knife switches. These are live. These are literally still live, and they're all rusted out, and it's very sketchy. We'll get this drained out enough so eventually you could see like around there because the original. Well, when I say Fur original, furnace I mean, is over there, right? But yeah, if you want to stand where I am, you can kind of take a peek. Yeah, I wouldn't. I think we'll leave this off camera for yeah, now. Yeah, cut it out. Um, but we'll we'll get this a little better later, I think. Those those furnaces are probably 90s. Um, Where is the original one? Back it's on way back. Yeah, it's around. Mm -hmm. And yeah. the sump pump is back in there, right? Exactly. And if you can't tell, it's not working. So yeah, <laughs> that, we'll have to get oh, that. Boy. We'll have to get that pumped out. Is but the yellow one here working fine? It does. It, we, it's not um, like mounted permanently yet, but we got to yeah, yeah, it works great though. That's brand new. Cool. So yeah, we'll get we'll get that a little bit better, I think. Cool. Okay. Okay, and then I think the only other place we didn't show them yet was oh the upstairs too. That's the yes. oh yeah. Oh, I think not yet. I figured. Is it one. bad downstairs? It's not. It's not as bad as it was, but it's not how I would hope. Oh. Is there water? It's about half as bad as it was the first time. Pellets are like that far under. Okay. Well, why don't you see if you can take a break from showing them around and get the water out before Alan gets here? What time is he getting here? Any minute. Oh, yeah. by the way, those are those are both Rex exit signs. I found new nice. old stock last yep. for on eBay. So oh, yeah. Sorry. Stuart, do you want to take? You can join us. Okay. Uh, well, I see the 1914. I see the gold texture in there. The curved wall is definitely Rex. Or that's Deco-ish. Um, where was the the doorbell thing? Oh, right up, right here. This is where we found out later. This is where the button was. Which so I, have, I, have, was, I have, and the buzzer and was was there. mounted to a clutchy light fixture. Right oh here. yes, that's right. For so was there a transformer in here? Got, yes, there's a transformer the, there. I got the transformer. I have the whole. So thing. yeah, why would a theater have needed a doorbell there that chimed right there? See, I was wondering if there was. I mean, it doesn't look like it, but is there was some sort of door here or something that was like. Yeah, no. Okay. If the 1914 theater had a door here, then maybe there was a signal for it, ushers to say, you know. Do you have room or? I, I, I don't know. I'm very well, here's the other thing, Jonas. No, 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 no. When was the stairwell added? Yeah, that was. Not this may be original or may not, but here's the. Because you can look between the stairwell and the and the top floor. Oh, yeah. Well, wait a minute. This is clear. This looks like an exterior rail. Yeah. yeah. Oh. This is definitely. So I think I they just bought that at the hardware store and stuck it up there. It was oh, just what they could that's get. also a McGee thing to do. Okay, so so, so we're thinking, well, how so, old is this? This is not an old rail. Well, because no, but there's wood stairs over here. These oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, okay. Okay. So I think this brick and this brick are new facing that they put in to fill in holes that were probably. Uh, so I, so I, far, your theory is not checking out, Rick. I, I think Rick. Is it yeah. Good? probably cut holes in the original stonework to put the ticket booth in yeah. and then when the church came back in they filled these it in together with new it'll just be new stone a Jonas mashup very well could be okay okay yeah I think. rolling okay so we are heading up to the attic I think this might be one of the first times on camera we've actually gotten this um Stuart and I have been up there a few times Dan has not been up there this is Jonas's first it's very kludgy There's there's steps, yeah. And there's more milk crates. Oh yeah. Be prepared, it is sketchy. Okay, I'm gonna go get the light. Okay. Oh okay. Yeah. Oh, there's usually a chair right here to stand on rather than this bucket. That's probably why we're having the problem. I don't know where that chair went. Oh god, this is okay. It's on an extension cord, that's right. Um, no, I'm going to let you go up so I can get it on camera and then I'll follow. Okay. You've been up before? I have. Me and Stuart, I think, are the only ones who have been up here. Do you want me to hold it? I can just... What are you holding on to here? So just like that, then you want to step on the milk crates. Try to not kill them. Where are the wires there? Those are the uh, thermostat wires for the new uh, furnaces. I can't get them right under them. Hold on. L lift up. Okay, go ahead. You're good. Sorry about that. There's just no other place to run these was the problem. Now how do I step up on here? Oh, there's rungs. There are rungs, yes. Do you want the light? Yes. I have no idea. I'm going to hand the light up to you. Yeah, I don't know. So, slide in here. I'm going to get some light. I don't get to see. Is there probably something I can brush off with down there? Um, yeah, I'm sure we can find something. It's, it's, yeah, it, it 
One of the reasons I don't like going up here is because it's very filthy. Is this double stacked milk crates? Yeah. Probably. No idea. I'm not going up to there. Going up there. Okay, I'm not doing that. I'm not dressed for that. You don't want to go up there? I, I can't do it in this kind of clothing. Okay, yeah, unfortunately that's really the only way to get up there. Wow, okay. Yeah, it's not easy, that's what I mean. It's... Well, that's something else. Fuck, man. Okay, fair enough. Oh, this is probably Patreon only anyway. Okay, well, fair enough. Yeah, it's you're not really missing much. I mean, there's not much up there other than just more questionable wiring, and, you know, the usual. Am I not down to the next rung yet? There are no. Uh, you're really close on your right foot. Let it down, like yeah, you're, there you are. Yep. Okay, these wires are more of a pain than I remember. Okay, well I'm gonna stop. So that right there is the only remaining bit of that ceiling. Yeah. And if you wanted to get up in there, you'd have to do what? You'd have to be on top of the uh, the cross, like these guys, like the yeah. cross beams. Yeah. That's that I would look safe. It's not great. I'll put it mildly. So we're gonna head down to the dungeon and uh, test the chimney flue, see if it's any good. On the really janky stairs. Oh man, yeah. These Been are... up and down these about 20 times now, and I feel like they're gonna collapse under. I gotta say, they're actually holding up pretty good, all yeah, things really considered. Are. I mean, they're not the best, but they're effective. You like my shop lights down here? Yeah, they at least work. it's something. At least this was higher, so I didn't dump yeah. under it every time. <laughs> could, yeah, I could get a zip tie or something. That's something. What I'm doing down here. Oh wow, yeah, this it is emptied up down here. Is the chimney for the old furnace? Okay. And if. Do you want me to turn that fan off? Yeah. Does that make a difference? No. If it's if it's open to the air up above, I should be able to get enough draft to keep this match lit. Doesn't always work. But let's find out. Looks like it's staying lit, right? It is staying lit and it's being drawn upward nicely. So that means it's open then, That right? means it's open to the air up at the top, yep. So you actually could vent things out there if you wanted. Theoretically, yep. Wow, okay, very cool. Before you turn that off, yeah, it's still rolling. Thing that's of note. Mm -hmm. Come around here. This is the back side of the chimney. Mm -hmm. And if you look up at the top, there's that little plate. Yeah. It's like a pie plate. Yep. A little paper plate or something. Yep. That goes into the same chimney. The worst thing you... I, I hope there are two flues there because the worst thing you can do is hook up two things to one flue because if this one's working and this one's not, fumes are going to seep out of that one, carbon monoxide and stuff, and get into the room. Ooh, yeah, we don't want That's that. That's something that people with chim chimney work always say. Okay, good to know. Awesome. Okay, well that was some good. So we're gonna head down to the dungeon and uh, test the chimney flue, see if it's any good. On the really janky stairs. Oh man, yeah, these Been are... up and down these about 20 times now, and I feel like they're gonna collapse under. I gotta say, they're actually holding up pretty good, all yeah, things really considered. Are. I mean, they're not the best, but they're effective. You like my shop lights down here? Yeah, they At least work. it's something. I wish this was higher, so I didn't dump yeah. under it every it time. Could, yeah, I could get a zip tie or something. That's something. What I'm doing down here. Oh wow, this yeah, it is emptied up down here. Is the chimney for the old furnace. Okay. And if Do you want me to turn that fan off? Yeah. Does that make a difference? No. If it's if it's open to the air up above, I should be able to get enough draft to keep this match lit. Doesn't always work. But let's find out. This looks like it's staying lit, right? It is staying lit and it's being drawn upward nicely. So that means it's open then, That right? means it's open to the air up at the top, yep. So you actually could vent things out there if you wanted. Theoretically, yep. Wow, okay, very cool. Before you turn that off, yeah, it's still rolling. Mm -hmm. Come around here. This is the back side of the chimney. Mm -hmm. And if you look up at the top, there's that little plate. Yeah. It's like a pie plate. Yep. A little paper plate or something. Yep. That goes into the same chimney. The worst thing, you, I, I hope there are two flues there because the worst thing you can do is hook up two things to one flue because if this one's working and this one's not, 
fumes are going to seep out of that one. Carbon monoxide and stuff would get into the room. Ooh, yeah, we don't want That's that. That's something that people with chim chimney work always say. Okay, good to know. Awesome. Okay, well, that was some good...